Hi teachers, I wanted to do something a little different, do a video for you and show you one of these inversion decks. Um, I'm obsessed, so cute. Uh, so each, there will be six slides that don't shuffle and kind of explain how you do the decks. That way you don't have the audio that shows like on the same screen constantly because I can get really annoying. <laughs> so, and don't mind my kitty who wants attention. Okay, so on each slide you'll need to do two things. So drag the caterpillar head to above the root of the cord. That's what the student will have to do. And then up top you have root, first or second inversion, and they'll have to hit root if it's in root. Or if, so it'll make sense, I'll keep going. Submit. The caterpillar is now in first inversion. You can tell because there's only one note above the gap. And then uh, same thing, you put the, the little head on the root and then you tap first for first inversion. And now the caterpillar is in second inversion because there's two notes above the gap. And then drag the head here and we write second inversion. Now, full disclosure, I had a teacher, her name is Robin. Robin Black, maybe you know her. She asked me to do these things because this is how she teaches chords. And I'm gonna show you the next screen. <laughs> I laugh because yes, it is a little morbid like she says. Imagine there's a little, uh, what's it called? Lawnmower that's gonna roll over the caterpillar and it like plops the head to the other side. Um, anyway, you kind of get the picture. <laughs> uh, so here's how it looks. Just imagine a lawnmower coming towards the caterpillar. Ah, the head would fly off to the other side. Boom. So um, here we go. This is first inversion. Same thing. The lawnmower keeps going. Burr. Oh, the other one, the middle body part flies over. This is second inversion. And then finally, if you do that again, then you're back to root position. So. There's these six slides. Obviously, if students keep doing the deck, they don't have to re-look uh, at them. They'll just skip the six first slides. Uh, but here's the, and it's not gonna shuffle. I'm not in shuffle mode right now, so I'll, maybe I'll just skip some slides. So here's, you just drag the head to the root and click root, and then you submit. And I need to fix that. <laughs> uh, that was the sample thing. Okay, here, that should. I have to go remove that one. Okay, so I'm gonna skip, skip, skip. Um, oh, we're in the hard minors, that's right. Uh, let's go to, I wanna, mm -hmm, I'm gonna pause it and skip to the inversions. Okay, so here's one where we're inverted. Uh, the student will have to drag the head to the root of the core, which is here. Let's make that cute. And then root, first or second root. There's only one note above the gap. I love that she explained it that way. And then put first and submit. Um, so, hopefully, oh, I'll pause and actually show you the, the second inversion. Okay, here we are, E flat minor chord in second inversion. The student will have to put the head on the root and say that it's second inversion. And submit. Okay. Mm -hmm.